Welcome back. He did two tours to Afghanistan and one motorcycle group wanted to give back to him. Camila Williams was there for the surprise they had in store. He lost both his legs in Afghanistan and didn't know what was next. Now he's ready to ride his new wheels with purpose. One in 2009, 2010, and then uh, 2011. 2011 is when I was hit by an IED. He's a combat wounded veteran and became a double amputee. And this motorcycle club unveiled something worth kicking your stand up for. Luckily, combat here at Bikeville, man, they, they found, they, they trust me. And I plan to show them that, but no, I didn't know it was going to be here today. Rolling Thunder Georgia 3 worked with Combat Hero Bike Build to make a custom motorcycle bike for Tony Mullins. Terry Sharp with Combat Hero Bike Build says it took about seven months to create. We've done this uh, since 2014. Tony is a well-deserved veteran, a U.S. Marine Corps veteran, uh, just, a, just a great young man. And it just feels great to do this kind of work. Mullins said it's been a long wait to get this bike. I mean, I'm just, I'm nervous. I'm nervous now, but I, I want to ride. I just want to get on the road and ride and feel the wind in my hair. Rusty Stripling with Rolling Thunder says he's glad they're able to help a veteran. Please support Rolling Thunder and your veterans because without the veterans, we don't get to do any of the things that we do. Combat Hero Bike Build has given a motorcycle to more than 25 veterans. They plan to give another veteran in the fall a custom bike right here in Georgia. In Macon, Camila Williams, 13 WMAZ News. If you or someone you know would like to donate a motorcycle to a wounded veteran for customization, you can go to CombatHeroBikeBuild.org to learn more.